Hello, everybody. This is Evan Lazar for CLNS Media coming to you from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, breaking down the top 50 fits in the 2022 NFL Draft for your New England Patriots. My Patriots big board is up on clnsmedia.com. You can read the written version, which ranks the prospects 1 through 50. In this version, we're going position by position. Talking about defensive linemen here, certainly a need the Patriots could address early in this draft. They need impact players on defense. Guys that just didn't change the equation, explosive players, dynamic players, certainly plenty of options on the D-line in that vein for the Pats. Let's start in the first round. My number two prospect on my big board, almost had him at number one. It was really close. Jordan Davis from Georgia. I think a lot of people look at Jordan Davis and say, oh, he's an early down player. He's a nose tackle. You're going to take him off the field in obvious passing situations. I couldn't disagree more. I think this guy is an every down player at the next level. I think his combine testing showed an explosive athlete that shows up on tape and a guy that's a lot more fluid and flexible and has the ability to rush the passer than a lot of guys of his size don't simply have. I think he's someone that could also line up in multiple rush alignments. I don't think he's just a nose tackle. I think you can put him at 3-4 end. I think you can put him over the nose. I think you can line him up in a much different position every single time. I, I don't think this is just an early down nose tackle. On top of that, there's tremendous value, especially in odd front teams like the Patriots typically tend to be with three, four nose tackles, guys that play over the center and control the line of scrimmage like Jordan Davis can. It just makes life easier for everybody else around them. They eat blockers, they occupy gaps, they control the A gaps, they reset the line of scrimmage all on their own. Think Vince Wilfork and how much easier Vince made it for all of his teammates to play defense around him in the front seven. That's the way that I look at a guy like Jordan Davis, a true game changer for the Patriots if they can get their hands on Davis at 21. I also like Devontae Wyatt, his teammate from Georgia. He's on the board as well. Travis Jones from UConn, he's on the board as well. But I want to go a little bit further down the board for the next two guys, starting with an Alabama product. How can you not talk about some guys from Nick Saban's program down in Tuscaloosa? Fedarian Mathis, a player that played next to Christian Barmar a whole lot for the Crimson Tide into the 2020 season. And Mathis plays with a terrific low center of gravity at six foot four, 310 pounds. He has the capabilities to two gap. He has the power to two gap, but he also has some really good fluidity and quickness on the inside to be an interior pass rusher. The way that I look at it is that a guy like Fad Mathis plays that three, four end role on base downs like Christian Barmore. You got a bookend of really solid playmaking three, four defensive ends on your D line. And on passing situations, you kick both of those guys a little bit further inside, and now you have two premier interior rushers, teammates at Georgia, Fad Mathis, Christian Barmore. That would make a great pairing. The other day two defensive lineman that I wanted to discuss was Perion Winfrey. Whenever you win Senior Bowl MVP and you play for Oklahoma, you know the Patriots are going to pay attention to Perrion Winfrey. A little bit smaller than a guy like Math is certainly a lot smaller than Jordan Davis. Only 290 pounds, but he is somebody that when you turn on the Sooners defense, there are a couple prospects coming out of Oklahoma. You know, Nick Bonanito, uh, Brian Awesome Watt, linebacker. Every time I turned on Oklahoma to study another prospect, I went back to Winfrey. He's just making plays in every game you watch. He's more of a gap shooter, penetrator somebody that wants to get up the field, extremely explosive off the ball, great first step, great fluidity, whole repertoire of pass rush moves, and absolutely dominated the entire week in Mobile. He dominated the Senior Bowl game. He dominated Senior Bowl practices. So you know the Patriots took notice of Perrion Winfrey as well. And the last name, kind of a late day three guy, maybe a target at 85, depending on the way the board breaks, could be there at 127. Josh Pascal from Kentucky. The Patriots have a history of taking tweeners like Pascal. What I mean by a tweener is that at 6'4", 268 pounds. He's a little bit too big or slow-footed for most teams to play outside the tackle, but he's also a little bit too small to play inside the tackles. So where do you play Josh Pascal? I think a lot of teams are going to have that puzzling decision to make, but this is a guy that just knows how to win in the trenches. You see a player that is just terrific with block anticipation, 
technique. It just has that ability and that knack and that feel for how things work on a football field. Maybe not the longest, not the most explosive athlete ever, but somebody that just knows how to beat blocks, get into gaps, knows where he's supposed to be, and most importantly, feels almost unblockable at times when you watch him at Kentucky with how smooth and slithery he is on the interior. My pro comp for a guy like Pascal, Trey Flowers did a pretty good job for the Patriots, pretty good pat throughout his career. Could be back with the Patriots. Trey Flowers, Josh Paschal, I like that comparison. I think the Patriots will see a lot of the same traits in Paschal as they saw in Flowers in the 2015 NFL Draft. So there you have it, the best Patriots fits in the 2022 NFL Draft along the defensive line. You can check out the rest of our rankings and videos, My Patriots Big Board, on clnsmedia.com and on Patriots Press Pass. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.